What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I'm going to be playing some Shadow of the Colossus HD remake for the PlayStation 3. I uh, recently have been thinking about The Last Guardian, Team Eco's latest game that they've been working on for 10 years. And I've really been wanting to figure out why the fervor around this game is so so loud. Why people are so animated and so excited about this potential game coming to the PlayStation 4. And so I wanted to uh, revisit Shadow of the Colossus, my personal favorite of the, of the Team Eco games. Uh, and for the people who've never played this game, it is really a special, special uh, experience. These are the voices of gods talking to this guy. The main character that you play as is a guy named The Wanderer. And uh, the whole premise of this game is to uh, bring this young maiden back to life. It doesn't even tell you who she is. It's kind of like the whole game is built on your own imagination. What this could be about. This female here on this podium. The whole game is about saving her and bringing her back to life. And when you look at the game, it's just a phenomenal feat that PlayStation 2 was able to do this. It, ta it takes a little bit of time uh, getting back into the control scheme of this game, but look at his horse. Look at the animation of it. and Just, rem just understand this is a PlayStation 2 game remade for the PlayStation 3. Not remade, but graphically enhanced. And when you think about it, this is a phenomenal feat. All this is open world. Now, it is totally open world, but the one thing that a lot of people might say isn't as amazing about it is that the world is not, it's not uh, populated by enemies. You know, every now and then you might see an animal that you can kill or hunt. But for the most part, the entire game is you traveling to fight these colossi, these giant rock formation creatures, and killing them, taking their soul energy, and transferring it to this female. And uh, I wanted to play this game. I wanted to show you guys this game. I know a lot of you guys are younger gamers who may or may not have ever had the chance to play Shadow of the Colossus. And I wanted to, uh, let me get this horse moving first. Get your big ass on. Come on, let's go. I wanted to show you guys. Now, his sword is actually the sword that was given to him by these gods. And uh, that sword works in the sunlight. If you're not in the sunlight, then it does not work. But if you're in the sunlight, it'll actually direct you to where the next Colossi is, which is evidently over in this direction here. And so I want you guys to come on this journey with me. Whether I win or lose, I wanted to uh, <laughs> get my horse out of this damn ditch. I wanted to play this and uh, show you guys, especially the younger generation who may not have ever seen this and maybe doesn't know why people are going crazy for uh, The Last Guardian to come out for PlayStation 4. Now this game came out on PlayStation 2, I want to say, uh, I want to say nine, nine and a half years ago, so it was uh, 2003 when this game came out, and um, I obviously don't have a license for this course, but uh, since 2003 Team Eco has been working on their next game. Now, the, the game that came out previously, the one that came previous to this, was called Eco. And that was basically uh, a game in which you um, escort, or you protect this maiden uh, through this adventure. And you're this young, uh, young, young male warrior. And uh, it was a very emotionally gratifying experience. Now, this game has epic, beautiful uh, soundtrack. Let me hop off my, my steed and this is where the next enemy is so I'm going to uh, and it's just beautiful it really is this game is just an amazing experience even to this day I mean I, I played this game when it first came out years ago and back then you know I was a young kid I was in my early 20s I, I thought the games couldn't get better than this, and in a lot of ways it hasn't, because I don't think I've had many more uh, experiences akin to this that really make you um, 
open up your imagination and feel what the characters are feeling and feel the emotion that is going into a scene or it's just really awesome. And so this boss is actually one of my favorite bosses. And every enemy in this game is a boss anyway, but this is still one of my favorites and you'll probably see why now. Here it comes, this is awesome. Hmm. Now that thing is made out of rocks, and it looks like grass, and it, it's alive, and it's just creepy as hell, it's huge. Now this boss is actually really small compared to some of the other bosses, and um, but, but still, it's huge compared to your character, so what you do here is you jump down into the water, and you start making your way toward these little platforms here. You can always keep your eye on the boss by holding down the L1 button. I'm actually playing with the PlayStation 4 controller, a DualShock 4. It's really hard to go back to a PlayStation 3 game with a PlayStation 3 controller. It just sucks. Now, uh, if I remember, there's f four little uh, pedestals out here. And what you want to do is you want to jump on one of the inner pedestals. That thing is fucking huge. Excuse me for the kids who are too young to hear the BC Gamers say the F word. It's freaking huge. Okay, so... Now, in this game you also have your hands to use and you can use a bow and arrow as well. So, I want to shoot him directly in the face to get his attention. And he knows I'm here. And I'm scared. And he's going to come straight at me. And I'm going to do jump! Holy shit. Oh my god. This is so intense, man. It is intense. Alright, so what I want to do is get across. Oh my god! Holy shit! You want to hold on, you do not want to let go. And I almost let go. That's why this boss is so... It's, it's so hard. I think it's right here. Oh my god! Oh! you guys see what I mean? This is just an epic experience. Oh my god. Alright, time to stab you, fucker. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm gonna fucking fall. Oh my god, hurry up and turn over. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I need to let my grab meter... Oh. Oh, God, no! Oh my God. Oh Jesus. This is so creep. This, this is so hard. Oh my God, please stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna, oh! <laughs> oh man, and so when that happens, what you wanna do... <laughs> is go back to the pedestals and this thing is I can find it. There he is now. He's already lost track of me because I'm so small has no idea where I am. So this boss is a little tedious to beat. You gotta have it just right. And see I, I haven't beat him God, it's probably been three years since I played this game. I just got back into it uh, earlier in the week. But it's it's like a drug. It's like something you don't want to stop playing. You know, once I beat the first three or four colossi, I was like, I want to see the next one. And and the last, the final boss in this game is such a rewarding experience. I mean, you've probably never seen a, an enemy as big as the final enemy in this game. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Some nice PlayStation 3 animations. I think, is he going to land? Yeah, see? How about that? Oh, I think I missed him. Oh, 
Let's see if I can hit him. This game has such a... The atmosphere and the music is just so amazing, man. He knows I'm here. Let's switch over to my sword. And let's get ready to do this jump, baby. Hey, dickhead, you coming down? goodness. This guy is just like, he goes crazy trying to get you off of him. Most bosses aren't this ridiculous. And the the risk versus reward is so tough. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Oh my no! Oh god. <laughs> oh god, that was insane. And, and I was actually trying to hold on to him at that point. Let's try it one more time. Oh, man. Where are you, you piece of garbage? That's an ass shot. Yeah. Do not piss me off again. Because I'm going to make you go down. The, the one thing about this game, though, that's really pretty incredible is... He's got to come all the way back around and get into position. This, these enemies are not necessarily bad. They are not enemies. You are very quite possibly killing benevolent entities. These things could be kind, loving creatures. The game never really delves deep into the background of the Colossi. That's why you never really know what it is the Wonder is doing. Are you just... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so... What I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to cut this video to the scenes where I get on him because uh, this is going to be difficult. And I know some of you guys are like, no, Beasley, I want to stay and watch the whole thing. I don't want to waste you guys' time. I want to show you guys what makes this game so amazing. Hey, dude, I'm shooting at you. I want... Right there. Come on! Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I had no idea that I actually hit him. I'm actually I can't actually hear the game. I have it turned down super low. I'm not using my headphones right now, so I'm just uh trying to do the best I can, man. Oh my god. Come on, go, 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 go. Look at that thing's eyes, man. It's crazy. Can you imagine being on something like this? Trying to oh Trying to save the the best piece of ass you've ever known. It'd just be oh, that'd be terrible. Okay, I think I can get up now. Go! Oh shit! This thing is ridiculous, man. See, and that's the way to shake you off because right when you think you're safe, he he goes into a gator roll. I'm going to fucking stab you. God damn you! <laughs> let me, let me stick. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, piece of shit! Oh god! Here we go again, guys. Same old shit, different day. Get it back, get it back. Go, 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 go. Get in the. Oh no, it's still up there? I thought I got rid of it! Holy shit! Oh my goodness. This thing is sick. It's kind of a sad thing, man, because after I beat this game so many times, hard to. It's not here now? What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. Um, I beat this game so many times, you know, years ago. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's back here now. God damn you! Ugh. 
This was hard. One more fucking stab. I just want I want you guys to be along with me for this and see why I love this game the way I do. And and this final stab is the nail in the coffin. You fuck. Wait a minute. <laughs> now, fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? He has no health left. Where the hell is the final stab at? Is this game really glitching out on me or something? Is there something I'm totally forgetting? Oh my god. Or are they just moving around randomly on his body or something? This is frustrating as shit. I think I got super lucky being on this long. Oh my goodness. Not over here. Okay. This is crap. Oh god. Is, is it on that wing now? What the hell's going on? Oh! Do not do this to me. I gotta come back here again and look. This is ridiculous. It's not here. Am I just that rusty that there's something this simple that I'm not remembering? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go check his other wing. Crap. Can I just punch him in the face or something? Yes! Ta-da! You're done, son. <laughs> I, I swear I have no recollection of that thing moving and switching to the, the wing at the last second. But I, I just want you guys to kind of see why Team Eco is such a special developer. The worlds that they create, the way that they create them, the stories that are being told without words, just so deep and amazing and um, I love this game if you guys have ever had a chance and you haven't played this game you missed out but you still can get it it's on PlayStation 3 you guys can get it on PlayStation now Shadow of the Colossus is definitely an epic experience and I'm about to get zapped because uh, there's no way I can get away from that stuff and it's coming now <laughs> thanks for watching guys as always thanks for all the thumbs up and support and if you're new to the channel Subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. While I got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about a great YouTube channel I ran across called Lazy Gamer Channel. There will be a link in the description. If you're into games like Grand Theft Auto V, Dragon Age Inquisition, Far Cry 4, Destiny, or tons of other games, this channel has great gameplay and really fun commentary. Be sure to let Lazy Gamer Channel know that the Beastly Gamer sent you, and I'll see you guys next time.